All right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. We got a couple of things to take care of. Uh, yeah, cool. I've lost connection. I, I never have connection for this game. Quit telling me that, PlayStation. <laughs> Oh, An God. expedition to EOS in the Pythia system has discovered a mysterious facility that authorities are calling a vault. Noted the sorry scientist. There we go. All right, let's go. What we activated I gotta talk to Carrie, and I noticed like on one or two this things is HNS. in the um shit. What is it called? The docking bay? Yeah, the docking bay. Apex personnel, please check your duty. Uh, hi. The documentary's going great. Your comments really got people talking. By the way, Tan called us in for a talk about staying on message. Mm -hmm. Is everything okay? Oh, fine. And much less interesting than what you've been up to. The scientists are excited about your new outpost, though there are questions about how Prodromos can survive where Sites 1 and 2 failed. My team and I surveyed EOS thoroughly and even stopped the storms. The rest is up to the outpost, but the old threats are gone. Hopefully they can handle any new ones. Facing those risks must be stressful. How do you relax between missions? You first. What about you? I can't imagine you putting your camera down for anything. I'm not the one history cares about. I need a minute to think about my answer, and I'd like to know. Back home, I'd go sailing. I love the water. Nowadays, I play ocean sounds, close my eyes, and remember. Okay, your turn. Sounds nice. My crew and I take downtime together. We're a team. This is history, too, these little moments between. Shots of this remnant tech, some narration, that completes an episode. Thanks for stopping. Sounds good. Okay. Now, I think that there were two missions out on the docking bay can't really take care of the first strike one in here until PlayStation stops deciding to disconnect me. <laughs> Apex personnel, please check your duty uh, but first, I think we should go visit our brother. Is it the habitation that? No, it's the cryo bay, I think. A worker was lost to space during repairs on the Nexus Hall. The victim's name has been withheld until next of kin in the Milky Way is notified. This is HNS. <laughs> Wait, it's been 600 years. How do you intend on telling somebody in the Milky Way <laughs> that their next of kin died? Once we gather a few more colonies, oh, this one. This is not good. Damned exiles. Hello? Oi, Pathfinder. Today has not been a good day. Where's that? A large shipment of medical supplies intended for Prodromus was intercepted by those damned exiles. Scouts confirmed they've divvied the supplies up among their own outposts. It would be nice if the people you banish would just mind their own business, but they never do. <laughs> Funny thing. People you kill mind their own business. And then it's super easy to take back what they took. Maybe when you come across them assholes, you can rectify all this. If I find them. Hey, Harry, how's he doing? Harry, what's happening with Scott? Well, we got him out of the pod. I don't want to get your hopes up, but Sam managed to uh, find him, you might say. I don't follow. Well, he's still in a coma, but he also has an implant like yours, and <laughs> Sam managed to access it. He's made contact. That's incredible. He's okay? Vitals are steady, but I'm letting Sam take the lead on this one. They're in a coma. Scott's mental processes remain intact. So is he okay? You can ask him yourself. A moment while I establish a link with his implant. Proceed. Scott? Can you hear me? Is that you, sis? I don't understand. What's happening? There was a problem with your stasis pod. You're in a coma on the Hyperion. Do you understand? Wow, really? How are we talking? 
Sam linked into your implant, but they say you're stable. You're safe and sound in the med bay. Guess I'll take your word for it. I can't feel anything, but I still hear you. Is Dad okay? He's busy on a mission. He's, we might as well tell him the truth. I'm not sure how to say this, but he's dead, Scott. What? There was an accident. What do you Accident? How? I mean, Dad... I know. It was all very sudden. Nothing anyone could do. I don't believe it. I'm sure he'd want to be here now. Did we at least find home? Dad kept talking about how amazing it would be. Still probably shouldn't lie to you. There's been some complications. The Golden Worlds didn't exactly deliver. I don't understand. I thought... Scott? This is... This is all wrong. This... is a nightmare. Scott, it's okay. I, I didn't mean to. His pulse rate is increasing rapidly. I don't feel well. That's enough for now. He needs to rest. Scott! Okay, well, we at least visited him. What's the prognosis exactly? Can I... Harry! Roger, that was a hell of a thing talking to your brother in a coma. Can't say I really bought into the whole Sam implant, but well, that was pretty amazing. It's kind of weird. Yeah, it was. I had no idea we could do that. Just when you think you've seen it all. And here, a 600-year trip to a new galaxy seemed like science fiction. Something new every day. Yeah, you also missed the Reapers. That's all, Harry. Thanks. I'll be here if you need me. Everybody here just missed the Reapers by, like, six months. <laughs> it's insane. If had anything had delayed, they'd all be dead. Right, let's go back to the docking bay. Docking bay. Species are at odds as talks break down over a unified curriculum for initiative kids. The Asari say they'll wait it out until demands are met. Okay. So I saw a mission back here. On the map. Unless the door doesn't want to open. That's your flag, everyone. That's Podromos. Hey, I was wondering if you could help me out. It's for the good of the bar. Sure. Lay it on me. So, folks try and help and all, but we have a limited pool of ingredients. Keep an eye out for anything interesting we could use for new drinks, and we'll let you test them for free. Right. I get a feeling the testing will be interesting. Don't worry. Dutch may complain a lot, but he's loving it. And he's the best chemist I know. You're in good hands. Yep, let's, uh, let, let's make poison out of Andromeda plants, for real. That's the smartest idea. Just make poison out of plants you have no experience with. And make people drink them. Sure glad I went to school for this. Thanks for nothing. What's the trouble? I've got power shortages throughout the station. I can't allow for me find the cause. Oh, whoa, you, you're the Pathfinder. Yeah. Hey, sorry, please ignore me. You've got way more important things to do. Power to the Nexus is pretty important. I'm happy to help. That, that's great, because I'm at a loss. There are obvious short circuits cropping up all over the place. A Pathfinder's eye might reveal something. There's a power short here. We could scan the area. Okay, uh, shit. I missed the, uh, jump to the hero. Um, where the hell is it?
bit of crafting, resources. Where the fuck did it go? Alright, there's something over here. Oh. Hello. I'm Jan Garson, founder of Wait, what am I? On behalf of the Nexus, I welcome you to the cultural center. Please have a look around. This is great. Another power short. Welcome to the cultural exchange center. Please have a look around. Learning about the uh, I'll explore here later. See, okay, what the fuck? What was that supposed to scam? Is it the? It's not the board. Oh, Jesus! Something downstairs. Yeet! Oh, it's over there. Right, well, let's go in uh, upstairs because there's one upstairs. shortage. Nah, There's a side mission in there too, but we'll investigate that in a minute. These remnant fellows probably have to go. I'm sorry, Lana. We're just the trying to boost our morale. Pathfinder, maybe you can clear this up. How can I help? My friend Jory was on EOS the first go-round, barely survived. Now they want him to go back. They're saying the conditions are improved, that, that it's safe now, is it? It's safer, but still dangerous. You can believe the reports. EOS is becoming a livable and sustainable space. Going back to reclaim it will help heal your scars. See, Jory? It's going to be okay. Thank you, Pathfinder. Uh, I'll do that. I mean, it comes with the same amount of danger as a giant desert planet does. An animal did this? Affirmative. I am able to track it. Please do so. Or do we need to scan the other shortage? Hey, Jurak. Creature. How many times have I told Pathfinder, you I believe you found the culprit responsible for the power what? shortages. What? The hell is that? Alert Professor Herrick to come secure it. That's not funny. Okay. That thing was fucking huge. I, I hate spiders so much. Back to the docking bay. All right, now back to the science labs for that one um for that one side mission that we didn't get yet. Doctors. We can start building a bank of vaccines once we get more biomaterial. Bio Oh, oh, can I talk? Hello, Pathfinder. A moment. What can I do for you, Doctor? I have a math problem. Some vital equations that only a mind like Sam's could solve. They concern strange transmission patterns in the Scourge. Perhaps random noise. Perhaps not. Sam likes new experiences. It'll be an opportunity to encounter math homework. Given <laughs> the complexity and the security implications, I recommend transferring the equations directly into Sam node. I have them on an optical storage disk for you. I'll see if I have time. Thank you, Pathfinder. Please thank Sam as well. All right. And I do have time. Uh, I gotta say, though, fuck math homework. <laughs> like, fuck math homework in general. I hate math so much. 
Like, I'm so glad I've gotten to the point in, in my academic life where I don't have to take math classes anymore. But, oh boy, they're the bane of my existence. The initiative urgently requires blood, tissue, and DNA donations. See a medic if you think you may be eligible. This is HNS. Hello? Can I can I speak? You, Pathfinder. I have a word or two for you. Mm -hmm. Is there a problem? Your father is my problem. He's everyone's problem. We're all paying for Alec Ryder's ego. He preyed on Jean Garson's trusting nature and bulldozed us to this godforsaken place. Now she's dead, and we'll all soon follow. A, he's dead too. B, not if I can help it. B, she founded the initiative, so I think... Or C, she founded the initiative, so I think you're kind of... Fucking wrong about that, but okay. This might be my dad's mess, but I will clean it up. Talk about ego. You're no different from him. You think you could do this all yourself. No. Go to hell, Pathfinder. All right, Sam. You want some math homework? Here's math homework. Ryder. The blocks your father placed on my array are opening. I can now recall specific memories which Alec wanted you to see. Wait, I can actually see his memories? Yes, you will experience them via your implant. Okay, something new every day. Let's see it. This memory is from the time when your father was posted on the Citadel. Alec, your recommendations will never fly. Artificial intelligence? It's our best option. If the Council gets wind of this, it'll set humanity standing back decades. You're overreaching. Ambassador Goyle, I'm the military attaché on the Citadel. My mandate is clear. Find an edge for Earth. And AI is your answer? We need to catch up. The Asari, the Salarians, they're centuries ahead of us. But it's illegal. Their rules, not ours. Why deny Earth an advantage? Define this advantage. It will set us free. We're prisoners of our own five senses. There's a reality greater than ours that we can't perceive, but an AI can. How? By augmenting our own abilities and adding a few new ones. Well, none of that stopped those Geth from revolting. Because they were separate from their creators. But AIs and humans interface directly, experiencing the world together, benefits both. There's no creator to revolt against. I'm sorry, Alec. We can't take the risk. I appreciate your work, but your request will be denied. Ellen, what did the doctor say? He told me to appreciate the time I have left. There's no cure, Alec. It's terminal. Not on my watch. Well, shit, okay. Wow, hearing Mom again. I never knew that's how Dad found out. Alec was a stubborn man. I would hope so. Mom's life was worth fighting for. It would seem his obstinance extended to me as well. Nobody wanted to listen. The idea of you scared people too much. After this, Dad moved us back to Earth to care for Mom. Wonder why he wanted me to see this. Perhaps it was the beginning. Of what? Unknown. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. Okay, well, we'll have to see, but I'd got... Wait, hold on. That's all for now. Of course. Can I, can I give you the equations now, though? Welcome back, Ryder. Dr. Aradon at the tech lab sent some equations for you to solve. I'm ready. Transferring them now. Have fun. Hey, oh, okay. 
Okay. What Whoa. the? Sam? Let me just go to test this. Please stand by. Sam? Attempting to compromise the malicious code. Please stand by. Is there anything I can do? Sam? Is that another malfunction or. Sam? You trying to show me something? Oh, I did it already. Okay. Okay, I think I got it. Sam, talk to me. Hello, Pathfinder. Please initialize the console to restore normal operations. Sam, what happened? The equations contained a Trojan horse program, a virus, specifically targeted to sever our connection and render me helpless. Reconnecting would be impossible. Did it hurt? That would take an expert? You'd need a crack AI programmer to create a virus like that. Yes. Only my unique adaptions prevented permanent damage. Unlock the door. Let's head to the tech lab and see what Dr. Aradana has to say. Okay. Wait, what am I what am I looking at? It might just be a glitch. Alright, better get her gather a security team. Wait, what the hell? What's this? Oh. Okay. Yeah, no time for alcohol right now. We gotta arrest a scientist. Hey, doctor, doctor, give me the news. You got some explaining to do. Don't fucking run from me. What the shit? Don't run from me. Welcome, Pathfinder. Did Sam solve the equations I sent? Solve them? They almost brought down Sam Node. The equations contained a virus designed to target artificial intelligence. You think I... Never. I abhor violence against any life, organic or synthetic. Then how did the virus find its way into your equations? Perhaps my files were altered or replaced. But why? Hmm. I've seen a lot of down with AI sentiment lately. Graffiti. Complaints to ten. Perhaps someone took the next step. Why would anyone hate artificial intelligence? Synthetic life has different needs and motivations. It can be mysterious and powerful. Many fear what is not understood. Everything's uncertain. Maybe they just want to feel safer. Attacking Sam is bold, though. I wonder if there have been similar incidents. The AI kiosk was busted this morning. I can look around. Pathfinder Rider, if you will. Uh, wait, why the VI kiosk? I mean, because there's a clear difference between an AI and a VI. A VI is basically just a hologram with a uh, regular program. Artificial detecting Pathfinder Rider. Hi there. Excuse the educational stuff. I hacked a Vina as a sock puppet. So, our virus set you free. Hope you're doing better without that AI jam in your head. You sent that virus to free me? From Sam? Not just me. Our move. And we couldn't let you suffer with that thing in your brain. Pathfinder, it's possible they don't realize their virus failed. Pretending that it worked might win their trust. Right. Hello? Ryder? The disconnect was very sudden. I'm grateful. Just woozy. It'll pass. See, this is what our movement's all about stopping. Knight says human AI merging is a threat to all life. She'd know, trust me. Oh, Knight's our founder. The virus wouldn't exist without her. I should thank Knight in person. I'll ask her. She might even give you a tour of our sanctuary. Great, thanks. Can't promise anything, but watch your email. Bye. Okay, thanks for that. 
How do I, um... How do I... Did you know the whole the movement of AI-hating hackers with a leader called Knight. She and her followers seem to have experience with human AI partnership. If they attacked you, they're capable of anything. I'll check my email. Did we need to find them. The okay, there we go. I was waiting for that quest to progress. We've had no trouble, Pathfinder. Onward we go. Okay. Pathfinder, are we going to Vold or Havarl? Oh, oh, we're going to go to uh, Vold. Made that decision already. All right, nothing, nothing new. Helios, Nexus, Aya. Okay. There it is. It's way out deep in the galaxy. Thing to scan yes there is just something simple was this resources yep probably. anomaly on sensors tracking a huge mineral deposit copper okay that works Bundle up, people. I'll stay on my nice warm ship. <laughs> All right, Kello. All right, who do we want to take? PB Vetra. Let's go. PB and Jal. All right, good. I think we're good. Take her down, Kalo. We designated this planet Habitat 6. Original readings suggest that it had a breathable nitrogen-rich atmosphere and oceans of H2O. I take it that's no longer the case. All H2O in Habitat 6 volts the Angarai is ice. And those oceans frozen over completely. There goes the dream of a seaside property. That's a pretty intense blizzard. LZ is on the windward side of the mountain. Conditions are bad. I'm tracking gale force squalls. To get out and push? Very funny, Ryder. Okay, Hoth 2, Electric Boogaloo. Let's go. Jesus. It's a really intense blizzard. Suvi wasn't kidding about the cold. 
know anything was here? You wouldn't think anything was here. Oh, God. Keep going, Ryder. Try not to make any sudden movements. You're probably being watched. At least we're being warned. That's the bright side. Yeah, I would very much like to be warmed, though. Because I hate the cold so much. Fuck the cold. A heater! Let me warm up for a second. I've never been this cold. We're almost there. We'll need to talk to Commander Anyik when we arrive. Look at the peep. Let me warm up for a second, and she's just all the way back there. Uh, and then she tells Extreme teleports. cold is detected, Pathfinder. We come in peace. Environmental temperatures are within acceptable limits. Alright, we're getting into more heated locations. Now we're inside the base. That's the wrong side. Panic is wasting time. So we've got side, a couple of side missions inside the base. We'll get those later once we get fully established here. Good to see you again, Commander Dozeal. And you, Jal. This is the alien. The one you think can help us. Yes. This is Ryder, of the Andromeda Initiative. I am Anyik Dozeal. Remember the name, because if you betray us, I will kill you myself. Be assured that what I do to you will make the stars turn their faces and grow dark. Totally understood. Everyone wants the stars to keep shining, right? We're in agreement, then. If you wish to prove yourself, be an ally in our fight against the Ket. Despite our best efforts, their growing forces remain a threat to our people. Speak to our lookouts, who watch the valley. They'll know where our need is dire. Jarl, watch them, and be careful yourself, my friend. Mm. I always am. All right, I'll see what I can do. I'll help you guys out as much as I can as well. Can I take this? Yep. There's a side mission up here. Is somebody hiding? Or is it a terminal? It's a terminal. Or a data pad. Looks like supplies aren't getting through to the resistance. Olisk is in charge of requisitions. We should speak with him. Where is he? He's over here. Oh, I passed you on my way up. Pathfinder, something I can do for you? You the requisitions officer? I hear you're having supply issues. Of course not. I don't know what you've heard, but everything is running fine. I saw the messages sent to you. What are you hiding? Keep your voice down. I need to keep this news contained. No one knows the shipments have stopped. If word gets around, we'll have a serious morale drop. I need to investigate this quietly. You have any leads? Not much. The supplies make it planet side, but never reach the base. The obvious answer is the Ket. Sabotage is their style. We changed our drop point, but no luck. I can't send someone to investigate without word getting around. I guess there's no avoiding it eventually. Just be up front. I'll check it out for you. I mean, maybe whoever is dropping them off is just turning around and stealing them. I can take a look at the drop point. That way, no one will panic. I can't sanction an official search, but I also can't stop you from investigating on your own. The nav point for the last drop location is in my personal console. You seem to be adept at decryption, so I'll let you figure out the rest. All right. Well, just see it as a personal favor. Reach the drop. Decryption point. successful, Pathfinder. Updating your nav system with a supply drop point. 
Sounds good. Hold. Hostile patrol follows from this room. We keep track of our brothers and sisters in the field. You don't win a war without good organization. Wow. I wonder how it works. Do you think they're adapted remnant tech? Who knows? It all seems more like a soldier than a scientist, so I don't think he entirely knows. Well, everyone looks friendly. Let's try to make a good first impression. Ooh, look at that. It's good to be back. I have friends here. You're so good at guilting. Whoa, didn't mean to sneak up on you. Your commander said you could show us the valley. Zeke, I don't want to talk to it. You talk to it. Ryder has a name. You named it? How do you even tell them apart? Stars, Beniska, just stop talking. <laughs> yeah, we can show you the valley. What are you looking for? I want to prove I'm here as an ally. That means fighting Cat. Head in any direction and you'll hit Cat eventually. They're all over Vold. Like Quirts, but with guns. We've heard reports about captured Angara in a Cat labor camp down in the valley. If you're here to help, like the commander says, you could start there. Anything else? Uh, yeah, a couple of questions. Red lights? What are those red lights down there? That's Hajara, just one of the Dar in the valley. There's people there that might need help if you haven't checked it out already. How do people manage to live down there? Why so surprised? We've adapted to this weather. Those lights are conspicuous. Don't the cat attack? We've adapted to that too. The cat wants to take us alive, so we fight to the death. It seems to deter them. I'd also think in such giant blizzards they wouldn't even see them. What's that alien facility on that mountain over there? That's the Ket Command Center. We have constant eyes on it. What's its purpose? It controls Ket operations on the entire planet. There's always ships coming and going. I came face to face with the Prefect there. Meanest, motherless Bissan I ever saw. Even the Ket seemed afraid. We don't have much intel on her, though. And anything on the Remnant? Do you know of any remnant sites or ruins? Uh, I think so. Actually, I don't know. Seek, do you ever read the dailies? No, you'll tell me if I need to know something. Yeah. So, where is it? Tall lights, over on your right somewhere. Thank you. At least you're good partners. I'll let you get back to your work. Yeah, you behave. We're watching you. Tempest, we're going to need the Nomad. My position. Deploying forward station. Good luck, Ryder. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Okay. Let's get the Nomad dropped. Mining zones in this region are available, Pop. Okay, Sam, what's Vold got for us? Cat activity appears to be centered around this large central command post. According to Resistance Intelligence, the base coordinates all Cat military efforts on Vold. And taking it down will cripple their operations. In theory. However, given the trouble the Angara Resistance has had infiltrating the base, it will not be a simple task. I recommend a more cautious approach that starts with the investigation of smaller Cat installations. Any suggestions on how to get on Ephra's good side? Resistance dispatches indicate there is someone in Hojara who needs help. We could visit Tekix, a larger and more established Angara Dar that is nearby. Sounds good. Thanks, Sam. Pathfinder, Vault's temperature range is fixed well below freezing, with pockets of even more severe conditions. This necessitates the use of the Nomad. I advise against prolonged exposure to the cold. Got it? Don't crash the car. Our scans have detected remnant monoliths which suggests the presence of a vault. And that means we might be able to melt this ice cube. All right, we've got our work cut out for us. Let's get going. Oh, oh Jesus Christ, what the hell? Camera's freaking out. Environment. All right, so we're going to continue searching around this hellscape of frozen wasteland and ice uh, when we return. So I thank you so much for watching. If you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. On Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already, and I will be back in a moment.